so here we are at Valencia and it's qualifying and I'm into Q3 which makes a change so let's see if I can beat my teammate for the second time of the You're season currently sitting in sixth behind the resta hopefully this lap will push me ahead of him nice first and second turns open DRS on exit breakdown now for the sharp turn 3 and 4 chicane I hate the chicane but we got round it really well that lap open DRS all the way round this little kink and into the braking zone we head for this corner that's just after sector 1 heading towards the swing bridge a sharp corner just off the exit be careful not to hit the barrier on the inside by turning in too early DRS and curse because we've got a long straight ahead heading along up to 180 mile an hour maybe 190 depending on the setup or even 200 just as I hit the brakes for this series of sharp corners run a little bit ride here not too close to the barrier not to get too close to the barrier here either might lose a front wing if you're not careful curves and DRS towards the end of the second sector now up to 190 mile an hour breaking down hard for a sharp right hander now we're on to my favourite part of this track sector 3 I love these corners especially when you got the setup right it's pretty easy open DRS now I'll take this one with DRS open close DRS and I well there's lots of different ways to go around that corner I sometimes brake and then stop braking brake again sometimes I lift and then brake depends if I'm cruising on fuel or saving the tyres and that lap put us into fifth place and that's where we stayed for qualifying so I've out qualified my teammate for the second time in this career I beat my objective quite comfortably because I had to come 14th so yeah it's good qualifying makes a change so now we're at the race it's a bit cloudy it's a bit wet so it'll be the intermediate tyres which is good because that means there's no pit stops let's have a look it says no stop but I'm going to set my fuel to normal and let's head out onto the racetrack So here we are, starting line, we've got Ricardo on pole, me in 5th place, and Paul De Resta in 7th. Hopefully my teammate will score points this race, it'll be nice for my teammate to actually score. So I've got a conferred for my objective, the lights are out and off we go. I've made a pretty decent start, Alonso's made a bad one so he should be up to 4. Gonna go up the inside of Button into turn 1 comfortably got past button round the outside of Hamilton and Ricardo into first position well that's great first place it's really good just gotta take it easy on the first lap you don't want to spin lose the front wing and be forced to pit coming now towards the end of sector one we've already built up well we haven't got a second yet but because it's wet conditions there'll be no DRS activation so that's fine just hope I don't mess up this swing bridge ran a little bit wide Ricardo's very close behind me on the exit so we'll get a good tow I imagine hopefully he doesn't try to overtake into the chicane up ahead let's see oh, he's getting closer nope it looks like he's not going to come through so we'll just hold the racing line and keep first position and easing it round so we've got me, Ricardo and then Hamilton I don't know where my teammate is it's further down the order and we're on the final lap now my teammate has got up into third position, Ricardo is still second and I'm first. We've got a 10 second lead 
nothing really happened so here I come around the final corner running a little bit wide not too badly to finish the European Grand Prix in first position I definitely did my objective by coming first it's a good day for Force India too because my teammate came in third position very good day for Force India So what we got? We got me, Ricardo, well Deresta, Maldonado, Rosberg, Senna, Grosjean, Cover Lion. Wow, Cover Lion got some points. That's good. And Roy Canoon got a penalty. That was a bit careless. It's good for the drivers' championship for me. I'm up into sixth place now. And my teammates in fifteenth ahead of Roy Canoon. And Force India are up into fourth in the Constructors Championship, ahead of Mercedes. And that wraps up Europe. Next time, Germany. Yeah, no. Silverstone. That's it. It's Silverstone next.